Hello everybody and welcome to this video about the battle for West Nord. In this video we will be examining the units in the Northerners faction. The Northerners are a chaotic faction. The main unit is the Orkish Grunt. The Orkish Grunt is the cheapest unit at 12 gold and also has the highest hit point. The Orkish Grunt is the unit that defines this faction. Let me show you why. If we calculate the damage per gold and the hit points per gold, we can see where the grunt truly shines. The grunt must have one of the highest hit points per gold of all the factions in the game. It has the same damage per gold as for example the loyalist spearman. The only unit in this faction that does more damage per gold is the goblin spearman but the goblin spearmen also have noticeably low hit points and are therefore easy to die. So grunts do good damage and they also have excellent hit points for every gold you spend. This makes them a very reliable unit that is relatively easy to keep alive and that does relatively decent damage. All the other units are more expensive. The Naga fighter, which is the basic water unit, it's also neutral, which is an important aspect to keep in mind if you need a neutral unit. For example, if you need something to take some deal, deal or take some damage um, and do some retaliation during the day, then you should uh, consider one of these Naga fighters. Uh, the Orcish Archer also costs 14 gold. And the, um, the Troll Whelp costs 13 gold, which is 1 gold uh, less expensive. The archer is your basic archer unit that does comparable damage to other archer units in the game and it also has uh, comparable hit points. Usually the ranged units have slightly lower hit points and it's the difference with a grunt is considerable. In this case uh, it's over, um, let's see, what the exact difference is 32 and 38 so the default is only 6 hit points difference but in this case it's 13 hit points because this one is a is a quick a quick unit that has a lower hit point so if you take into account all the modifiers the difference between an archer and a gun can be significant now the troll whelp is a special unit it has only 4 hit points instead of the default 5 but it has high hit points and it has also 20% blade and pierce resistance this combined with the fact that this unit has regeneration makes it quite a tanky unit able to soak up quite a lot of damage it, the unit also has excellent hit points for each point of gold The unit also does impact damage, which can be strong or weak depending on the enemy that you're fighting. The next unit that we will look at is the Wolf Rider. The Wolf Rider is a very expensive unit at 17 gold. It also does low damage compared to its cost. However, the big advantage is the movement type and also the number of moves. This unit is can move pretty fast in hills and reasonably fast in mountains. All the northerners share this quality. They can where most units will take two movement cost to move in the hills, these units will only spend one movement point. So again looking at the damage per gold and the hit points per gold, you will notice that it is comparatively very low. So don't recruit any wolf riders unless you need a scouting unit with a high moves. The next unit, also costing 17 gold, is the Orkish Assassin. The Orkish Assassin has a very low damage per gold. In fact, it has the lowest damage per gold of all the units. It also has the lowest hit points per gold. On top of that, this unit has negative resistances, minus 30% blade 
minus 20% impact and minus 20% previous resistance. Now you might ask yourself, why is this unit so bad? What is there to compensate for it? Well, the unit has a high defense in forest, hills, mountains, castle, to compensate for its negative resistances and low hit points. The unit has also a ranged attack that does poison and when used offensively always has a 60% chance to hit. In my damage calculation I did not take into account the poison damage. If you manage to poison a unit it will at at take at least 8 damage at the beginning of its next turn and it will take 8, eight damage at the beginning of every turn following if the unit is not cured. That means that the damage that this unit effectively does can be much higher. Intelligent use of the poison ability is essential to make this unit worthwhile. If you manage to poison two or three units, or maybe more, then you will have a good use of your unit, especially if you manage to keep him alive, which might prove to be very difficult. The last unit is the Goblin Spearman. This unit only cost 9 gold and it has in fact the highest damage per gold of any unit in this faction and it is significant however it is really the glass cannon because it has the lowest hit points of every unit keep in mind that this is a level 0 unit that means it costs no upkeep making this unit even cheaper than it already is but it cannot be used to do a zone of control that means that enemy units can just pass these units and they don't have to stop if they come next to it. If you manage to use a lot of goblin experiments and you somehow manage to keep them alive and they can do a lot of damage, then you will find this unit to be extremely effective. I think the Northerners faction is a pretty straightforward faction. I uh, hope you find them fun to play and good luck in your next games. I'll see you next in the next videos.